folks will sit up and watch the Ten Commandments. Wow, did you see what God did? He parted the water. Well, he didn't part your water. For real? Wow, did you see that? He turned the, the sin into a snake. All right, that's right. He turned your sins into salvation. Yeah. Oh, my they can't believe all of that. Can't believe but they can't believe that God is a God of today. Right. Oh, he was back in the Bible days, you know. Oh, I believe some of them think that was a fairy tale. Yeah. But they sit there and watch it. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. God can make you awesome. Yes, he can. He can turn your life around. Yes, he Amen. He give you a new life. Yes, People in the neighborhood who said, wow, is that that person? Mm -hmm. They really changed. Mm -hmm. Wow. I, when God did that work to my brother, it just blew my mind. Because I'm going to tell you, he had gotten bad. He had gotten bad. The devil was really doing him bad. I would call the house and say, Brian, let me speak to mama. He said, hello, ma'am. I said, ma'am, what are you talking about? This is your sister. Ma'am, you want to speak to mama? I mean, you want to speak to Mrs. Mack? He wouldn't say mama. He wouldn't acknowledge as if it was my mother and his mama. Uh -huh. Amen. He said, ma'am, you want to speak to Mrs. Mack? I said, Brian, why are you calling me ma'am? And why are you saying Mrs. Mack? I want to speak to mama. Okay, ma'am, I will uh, get Mrs. Mack for you. <laughs> and when I would see him, he wouldn't give me the time of day. He was like, eh, wouldn't want to say nothing to me. I said, hi, Brian, eh, yeah. <laughs> he didn't have time. He wouldn't come around. God started working on Brian's life. Mm -hmm. It was right around the time Keyshawn was born, and that was God used Keyshawn to impact his life. He was saying, I could be a mentor. I could be uh, a, a role model for him if I was saved. I said, right, Brian. He, he started talking to me. That's what kind of got me first. I was like, why are you talking to me? Because he used to wouldn't talk to me. Then he came to my house. God uh -oh. started working in that house when we first moved there. Amen, praise God. He started working in that house, cleaning it up, whatever they told him to do. And when he got ready to leave, he said, he came to me. He said, it was a pleasure being here. That blew my mind. just blew me away. He said, it was a pleasure being here. He said, and I want to thank you because we family. And family helps. I was thanking him. Brian, thank you for helping. He said, we family. Family helps family. I was like, where's my brother? Because he wouldn't even talk to me at first. He said, you have a beautiful home. You have a beautiful home. Thank you for your hospitality. He just began to thank me. I was like, is something going on? My mama said, he said, you don't smoke no more. I was like, God, I know you can do anything, but you just did this. And, and I mean, we've been asking for years, but you just slipped it in. He just changed his life. And God can do the same thing for you. He can just change your life. Just like he changed that weather one day you go out there and it's 78 degrees. So hot, you take your coat off. Go out there the next day, you got your coat off, you got to go back in and get your winter coat. Change your life the same way. Yes, the same way from night to day. That's right. Turn your life around. Yes, yes. Amen. But you have to be willing to give God a chance. Mm -hmm. You have to trust God with your life. You know what? People trust people in the world with everything. Everything. They trust the drug man. They go out there and buy 